Today's ride takes us approximately 35 miles north from where I am, which makes this the closest to me 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre filming location. The majority of the movie was filmed 90 miles south of me, but let's not forget this brief 24 seconds of on-screen footage from the beginning of the movie, just before they pick up our friend the hitchhiker. I'd like to start by giving a shout out to thennowfilminglocations.com as well as halloweenfilminglocations.com, and especially Tim at TexasChainsawMassacre.net, who was the first person I discovered online way back in the early 2000s, who was doing an amazing job with documenting and providing so much cool production information of this all-important horror movie. Please check out their sites and give them props. I will leave a link to their site in the description below. Also, please like, subscribe, and share this video in that order. I'm kidding. Do it only in that order that you see fit. So this is probably the least documented or visited site of the original movies for two reasons that I can think of. One is, no one knows where the heck this is, and figured it was near Hutto, Texas, where Ed Neal, the hitchhiker, is first picked up. Thanks to Movie Magic, we are transported some 126 miles north for this brief cut. Then now MovieLocations.com credits their friend Paul H., and they state the following. This location has baffled fans of the film who have been trying to locate it for decades. Finally, my friend Paul H. was able to track it down. It's 126 miles from the next closest location from the film. The site is the former Newhoff Brothers feedlot. Newhoff Brothers Packers was founded in 1932. On May 18, 1976, it was acquired by Mickleberry's Meat Products. Although the site still includes the cattle wrangle corral and feeding troughs, I'm not sure if it is still used for the storage of livestock. The farm structures seen in the far distance are no longer visible from the site due to the growth of the trees. Additionally, HalloweenFilmingLocations.com had this to say about the site. This location had remained elusive to fans for decades with no information online as to its whereabouts, which prompted hardcore chainsaw fan Paul from then and now movie locations to reach out for my help to find it. After an exhaustive search, I was finally able to uncover the location as a former Newhoff Packers feedlot located just outside of Hillsboro, Texas. The feeding troughs and some other equipment are still there, but I'm unsure if this site is still in use. The scene was actually shot after principal photography, which probably explains why the location is nowhere near any of the others and has not been found before. Well, that's super interesting to me, and hopefully you found it interesting as well. You'll see, or more or less hear in this video, that I forgot my mic, so the wind really trashes out some of the audio. Apologies in advance, and I can almost promise little to no wind noise in the background of future videos. Turn on closed captions if you need to. But enough GoPro on a motorbike. I hope you enjoy my disjointed ramblings and I look forward to posting more in this series of related videos. The cemetery, the family house, and the gas station. Very, very soon. I hope you enjoy the show.
What's up, everyone? This is Chris with Laser Wagon, and we are in between Hillsboro and Carl's Corner, Texas. This is going to be my first vlog of a filming location, so bear with me. The audio is going to be awful. Mic issues. Um, so, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. on it, take my motorcycle out if possible, and try to see a few of these places, while also obeying any kind of trespassing um, laws. I don't want to, you know, don't want to bother anyone in their personal property. So, right here is, I think, like I said, one of the lesser known locations or the least covered, probably because there's not that much out here, but the very beginning when they are in the van driving down the road and past the cattle guard. What smell? Cattle guard. What is that? Um, before they pick up the check. This was actually filmed. Nope. We got 24 miles north of Mount Rock. I'll try to line these up with a screenshot as best I can. Um, the main thing over here is you can just kind of see a lot of this iron fencing still here. Um, I have seen other guys and gals record this, and there has been livestock on this property from time to time. I came here about a year ago and just took some photos. Again, wasn't about to trespass, but area. So again, not super exciting, but pretty close to where the van was traveling when we first see them. So I'm going to walk up to the road a little bit closer. through it's junction 9 939 932 I'll correct all this post but yeah it's um it's kind of cool right so there would have been cattle here they did a close up slobber cows Franklin talking about slaughterhouse everybody's talking about that junction, which I'll walk to over here, move my motorcycle, myself for a minute. I'm going to walk this way down the fence line. And this is a little bit more than you care to see of an abandoned stockyard. But what the hell, right? It's Texas Chainsaw Man. So if you can use your imagination, 
they were looking out Jerry's side and the driver's side of Marianne. That's kind of what they were doing. When they pass, they were looking at the cattle. Here, they traveling west. Down 77. Towards what is now Hillsboro, Texas. Um, like I said, this is considered Carl's Corner. Familiar with that? Um, this is up Farm Road 934. Will take you to the Carl's Corner truck stop, which is off of Interstate Highway 35. If you're familiar with passing through from Austin to Dallas, this is 934. Pretty cool. Okay. I'm just going to walk right over here to 934 to try to get a reverse angle of what you can see the road behind the van. Again, I'll try to line it up. There's a dog that's not happy with me. So there's FM 934, which is the road you see behind the van when they're traveling west. Mr. Fido is suggesting that I keep my distance. So, let's walk back this way. But it's a really cool place to come see if you are interested in Texas Chainsaw Massacre filming locations. Um, might be a little bit obsessed myself. Been to them several times, never actually recorded it, just kind of took photos and moved on, but I really like seeing the other guys that have come out and done such great jobs. Uh, man, Adam the Woo, Sean Clark, Scott on tape. What's up, Scott? What's up, Sean? What's up, Adam? Uh, Tampa J. Recently did a really good one. In fact, Tampa J, shout out because you got me off my butt because I do know that they are seriously getting ready to develop the La Frontera area in Round Rock where the original family house sat. Been there hundreds of times, taking still photos, but I feel like I need to get down there and document it sooner rather than later. And uh, my hope is to do this in a series, break them up so it's not so boring to try to sift through a 40 hour, 40 minute long video. Just do these in chapters. So this is my first attempt. Please bear with me. Like I said, I've got some audio just ad issues to adjust. I'm not a real big fan of seeing my face or hearing my voice on camera. So again, bear with me and I will try to keep my face to a minimum on the camera because who wants to see that, right? We're here for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Speaking of, one second. Okay, so I'm just heading back to the bike. Short and sweet video. I'm not hopping any fences, not breaking any laws, but I wanted to get out here today because it was a beautiful day and we were about to have some really crappy, icy, weather in about two more days so won't be able to do any more of this for quite a while i would appreciate if you would subscribe or at least like or hell dislike just give me some advice what else would you like to see filming locations in texas i want to do some of the friday the 13th reboot down near bass drop i want to do chainsaw 2 um, stuff like that so I would super appreciate sharing this, like, subscribe, whatever, and uh, promise to do better on the next one. See you guys. If I have any more fun today, I don't think I'm going to be able to take it.